What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about one of the downsides of upgrading to Windows 11 and that is the lack of sound mixer. What do I mean? Well, right clicking the sound icon in the bottom right, which is arguably indistinguishable to the internet connection over here, it just matters what side of it you click. Then I click open volume mixer, it opens up this massive window that isn't really all that helpful to me. Some things are here, you can sort of see what volume they have, I would assume, at least the volume up here is moving, these ones aren't, it's definitely not at all the most helpful at all. If you use the Windows 10, you can simply fire it up and it'll show you everything vertically. In fact, we can even do that in Windows 11. Holding start and pressing R to bring up the run dialog box, we can type in SNDVOL and hit enter, sound volume, and poof, there's the good old Windows 10 one, it's rounded for Windows 11, and it works exactly as you have remembered. It's so much easier to use, so much easier to tell what's going on, and it's not the default for Windows 11, which is rather annoying. Fortunately though, as with everything, there is third-party software that we can install that fixes this for us. Although this isn't exactly the best fix, we'll see why in just a moment. But I still will be doing this, as it makes life a lot easier. In the description down below, you'll find a link to a Win Error article right over here, talking about classic volume control for Windows 11. Scrolling down over here, you'll eventually have a jump to the download section, and all the way down here at the middle point of the page, Right before the comments or the next article, we have download classic volume control for Windows 11. If we click in it to open it up, once it's done downloading, we'll see three files inside of here. What we need to do is extract these to a place where we won't be deleting them. So I'll put it across to the side, start E to bring up a new file browser, and we'll be navigating into say maybe documents, making a new folder with control shift N, and I'll call it say classic sound volume. I'll open the folder, drag all of the files out of the zip into here, and if we run classic sound volume control.exe or classic volume control, we'll get a pop-up or info run anyways. We'll get a warning here and click I agree. And now in the bottom right over here, you can see a sound icon. Clicking this, we get a mini mixer over here and we can choose mixer for any of these here to open up the old sound mixer. This may not be exactly what you're looking for, but it's definitely the best that we're gonna get on Windows 11 for now. If it vanishes up into this little compact box over here, I'd recommend moving it back down, moving it as far to the right as possible, and we can right click, choose to start automatically. Now it'll always open, making life a lot easier for us. We can expand it, click mixer, and we're back to where we need to be. I usually keep this open almost all the time on a second monitor, so it's really not an issue for me having to click two extra buttons. Just having the ability to open it with my mouse instead of start R, SND, VOL, enter, it's so much easier doing it this way. But anyways, that's yet another Windows 11 rant-esque video with a solution that you may find rather interesting. Unfortunately, we're not able to disable the sound icon over here, even though there are settings within Windows to do this. In fact, there's one in the group policy editor, though it doesn't do anything at all on Windows 11. Super annoying. That's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.